Good morning, everyone. Wow, what a difference a good night's sleep can make. We slept from about half eight until half six. So I think we have beat the jet lag. We didn't wake up in the middle of the night like wide awake. So I think we're on top of it, feeling like new people this morning. We've got up, had a shower, got dressed, get ready. So we're ready to take on San Francisco. Let's go, guys. So one thing you will always have to sacrifice if you ever get into photography is carrying around a nice little trendy bag. I've got to carry this beast with me today with all my camera gear in it. Don't want to be missing any photos. I'm leaving the drone at home for now. Um, but yeah, this is, this doesn't, it's not light. I wish I was carrying just a little bum bag, but if you want the pictures, you've got to carry the gear. hotel is literally here in Axiom and we're waiting to get on the historic cable cars towards Fisherman's Wharf. That's our first stop of the day. There's a bit of a queue because they are quite uh, infamous, shall we say. Should be good fun. When you are gone, we'll cover all my dreams. Had a fun little ride on the San Francisco trolleys and we've arrived near Fisherman's Wharf. The weather is absolutely perfect. I think it's meant to be like 18 degrees but full sun 
a bit cool in the shade but lovely and warm in the sunshine but perfect temperature for like exploring a city I think there's nothing worse than exploring a city when it's boiling hot which is what it's gonna be like in LA it's very hot in LA but it's nice perfect weather here for exploring to Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, there seems to be a lot of like boat tours going from here and uh, we're gonna have a look later into maybe getting the ferry over to the headlands because apparently it's a budget-friendly way of seeing Alcatraz and the Golden Gate Bridge without sort of booking a tour and then you can go over there and have a look at the stop over on the other side and then you can walk back over the Golden Gate Bridge for the views of San Francisco. Dean's not that like, keen on walking over bridges so are you Dean? got a bit of a fear of heights and of water so he might take some persuading but i'd like to walk back across it i think that sounds really fun but there you go guys there's the infamous alcatraz we haven't booked the tour of alcatraz yet i haven't ruled it out completely yes yeah, so we haven't ruled out going to alcatraz completely but we haven't booked anything yet We'll see how we get on for time. There are a lot of things that we wanted to see in San Francisco. We also just wanted to sort of soak up the vibes of the city. There's a lot of photos that I want to get. All these things take time. The Alcatraz tours seem to be quite long and I'm not sure how high on my list of priorities it is. Yes, it looks cool. I'm enjoying looking at it from here. Um, I think it's obviously got a lot of history. Maybe it is also quite expensive. And when I looked at tours, there's so many different options. So guided tour, audio tour. I don't really like audio tours. I'd get bored listening to someone waffling in my ear. I'd rather have a guide with a bit of personality to tell me the stories behind it all. Um, but obviously that's more expensive. Sunset tour, there's so many different ones. I just want to go, someone show me around and then come back. But it doesn't seem to be that or something tied in, stopping off for lunch somewhere, all this other stuff, which is great if you want to make a whole day of it. But if you just want to go over and see it quickly, it doesn't seem to be an option that I've found yet. Um, I will keep looking. So far, nothing but for Alcatraz. One thing I will say, guys, is I think that looks pretty easy to swim out of there. <laughs> this is on like just one time zoom, not zoomed in at all. If I zoom in there, three times zoom i don't know can you put a bit of effort in you could get out of the alcatraz <laughs> do you know what the favorite travel vloggers that we mentioned yesterday cara and nate they actually last week did the swim from alcatraz i think you can book it there's a big cargo ship coming in but i think there must be people that run like escape from alcatraz things where they take you on a boat and I think they had a boat following behind them. Whether they booked it, whether they arranged it themselves, um, I'm not too sure. That vlog, I don't know if theirs hasn't gone up yet, but I think they took them to Alcatraz and then a boat followed behind them, obviously for safety, so that if they did get into trouble, and they did escape from Alcatraz. So it's doable. Al Capone never managed it, did he? Or Machine Gun Kelly, that's another one that was there. But uh, it's possible because I know two people, sort of, from YouTube that have done it. But it doesn't look that far to me, in my opinion. I reckon I could do it. Just where we were stood, we spotted this little psycho museum kind of thing, free to walk in. So we've come in for a little mooch. And one thing I will say is it smells exactly like Old Town in Florida. Exactly like it. It's got those vibes, but there's all kinds of like vintage, video games and things in here. Oh, that is creepy. A thimble theatre. <laughs> Whack-a-mole. These remind me of Toy Story, you know, the way Sid is in Pizza Planet. An old vintage pinball machine. Wow. 
is another creepy face. Jolly Jack. Oh. <laughs> he can stay where he is in his little box. <laughs> it's a proper vintage little game. I think you have to pick up the scrap cars and put them in the containers to win some kind of a prize. I don't know. Wow. I wonder how much all this stuff is worth. It must be an absolute fortune because they are arts oh, creepy as well. A load of clowns. with these creepy, creepy dolls. Look at his face. That looks like Dean. <laughs> it's morbid. French execution. Curtain goes off and you see the culprit pay the penalty. Wow. Now Dean remembers having one of these. It's like an electric. Electric chop machine, you remember there being one in the Mega Bowl at Switch Island in Liverpool. I don't remember it. Yeah, yeah. You just like grab onto it. Like, you don't get an electric shock, but it just sends like this horrible vibration up your arm. Like. So I stumbled across a big war vessel. I think it's a museum now though. Possibly, I'm not sure. Alcatraz in the background there. So I think we're going to have a walk over to Pier 39, try and spot some sea lions. Soak up the atmosphere over there. But yeah, this was a little museum thing we were just in, Museum of Mechanic, the Mechanical Mu Museum. Random, a bit creepy, but full of loads of vintage, vintage arcade games.
got a barbecue pulled pork sandwich, one of my absolute favourite foods. We're in a place called Wipeout. There's a big group of um, sort of young lads who keep shouting for being rowdy. I think there's a big sports game on, but nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely starving. How was your burger? No, it's a proper American burger. Can't beat a proper American burger. Would Andrew have liked it? He would have liked the salad. Yeah, <laughs> and he'd have needed some cheese, I think. Yeah. Plenty of cheese, right? I hate cheese, so no cheese. So I think the plan is we're going to finish our drink. Um, and, and then I think we're going to go back around to watch the sea lions. We did have a quick look at them before. But we were hungry, so we're gonna have a quick gander at the sea lions and then who knows? See where we end up. See where the day of, takes like, us. Uh, sports fans in here. I mean, it's for the baseball and they're already wrecked at like one in the afternoon. Yeah, we've been having a debate about who's who's where English sports fans. Or they're all like American. Oh, let's go! Well, do not tequila. <laughs> now, Dean thinks that the Americans are worse. I, the British are known around Europe. Like when we go to the World Cup or the Euros or the Champions League, we're known for drinking in the streets and just being drunk and disorderly. So I think I would rather have them than Everton fans if you ever won a trophy. Apart from the pitch invasion, we're all right. So. No, I we honestly, I agree that the Brits are bad. I agree with the rest of Europe. We always make a show of it ourselves. Feels like in here. Feels like you're in Florida a little bit, doesn't it? Like, yeah, whole shit. If I had to compare it to somewhere, I'd say it's a little bit like city walks, and I know that's obvious because there's a bubblegum shrimp co. Um, and all different things like that, but it just it has a little bit of a vibe of City Walk about it. This is Pier 39 is where we're at. It's so vibrant. It is very busy. It's a Saturday. It's obviously a tourist hotspot. But I don't like comparing places to places. This is like, it's Pier 39, it's got its own feelings to it. But I mean, if I had to pick somewhere that it reminds me of, maybe City Walks in Orlando. It's just a tour, it's a little tourist trap, isn't it really? Same as City Walks, but it is, it's got a nice vibe.
Okay, so we've had an Explorer Pier 39. Went to go and see the sea lions. Um, and we're going to stop off in Hard Rock. This is a must because I collect pins from Hard Rock. So I don't think we're going to get anything to eat. We are going to go and have a look at the pins. Because you can't pass a Hard Rock without buying a pin. I think I've got about 40 in my collection round right now. Some are from the same place. I've got quite a few from Orlando. Um, but yeah, let's go and buy a pin. Okay, so quite some spontaneously we walked past someone saying an hour boat cruise under the Golden Gate Bridge, back around Alcatraz and back again one hour, twenty dollars per person. So we thought, why not kill an hour? And if we enjoy it, we could maybe look for a long cruise another day or actually go over to Alcatraz properly. Just a quick, easy way to scope it out. It is quite windy and quite choppy though, um, so I don't think I'll probably. I'll probably just do montages of the trip because I don't have a dead cat to on my microphone so I think the sound will be awful because it is windy in land today so out there it's going to be even windier and it might be quite choppy and I think Dean might get seasick Sorry Dean A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it Check it. Did that come out okay? That's the best one of the 300 pictures I've taken like, of myself like today. Every my way, my way, my way, my way, my way. Did you get a good selfie? No.
Well, I think today's vlog is going to come to a bit of an abrupt end. Uh, we went on the boat tour under the Golden Gate Bridge and just quickly around Alcatraz. That was okay. It was only $20 each. Sort of as we were coming around to the tail end of Alcatraz, because it was windy, a lot of water was started spraying up on the boat. So they told us to go inside. Then we couldn't really see Alcatraz anymore. It was all very crowded. And then we were back in the harbour. So it was okay for a little taster. And it was an hour where we found something spontaneous and fun to do. We did that. Then we sort of mooched around towards the Ghirardelli market. But then I think the sort of tiredness hit us and we thought, you know what, we'll go back to the hotel, have an hour, freshen up and then come back out for food and see where we want to go in the evening. It took us an hour to queue back up for that trolley that we'd taken down there. To me, that's not public transport. It's more like a tourist attraction now. Like there's an hour long queue to get on it. It's not like Subway, if you go to like Budapest where we were earlier this year, London, New York, there's like a subway and it's quick and it's easy to use. That is not public transport because you have to queue an hour to get on it. I think we need to keep looking into the public transport. They don't really have an underground system, which is always the easiest way to get around, I find. It was really fun going down there this morning. The sun was shining, it was beautiful. It was I didn't mind waiting, it was an experience, but then to have to wait an hour for that experience to come back was frustrating. It was either wait an hour or it wasn't really a walkable distance and there's a lot of hills in San Francisco or pay for an Uber or something. Maybe it's more like buses than um, the underground and things. So we got back to our hotel, <laughs> sat on the bed, in, which was a mistake and fell asleep. And we woke up around 8pm and for some reason all the restaurants around us close at 8pm. Bit strange we've been looking online at where it is still open to get food even hard rock back at pier 39 where we were today closes at 9 p.m on a saturday is it not safe to be out at those times i just seems a bit strange to me there's a cheesecake factory there's a panda express there's at numerous restaurants that you just around the block from us and they all close at eight so we've missed dinner to be honest neither of us are that hungry anyway I think we were just going to eat for the sake of eating. I think our bodies are still a bit messed up. Obviously, well, obviously we just slept and now we're awake again. It's 9pm, so we might try and stay awake for another hour. Maybe do some editing or something, watch TV and then go back to sleep and try and get another night's kit. But I just hope we've not messed ourselves up now by sleeping and then waking up in the evening time. But it, it got a bit much today. The wind picked up. So it was considerably colder. So I wanted to go back to get some a warmer outfit for the evening anyway. And then we just needed a minute after waiting in that queue and then getting on that busy cable car, trolley, whatever you want to call it. That was really busy. That took, it, they take time. They have to stop at the stop signs, stop at the red or red lights, stop and let people on. And they're slow in general. So it wasn't like a quick little ride. We needed to come back here for that nap um, and that break. So yeah, that's gonna be in the end of day one in San Francisco. It was a, it was still a big day. Anyway, good night, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.